What's up, y'all? I feel like hammered shit. Like, I really do. I got, like, no sleep last night. No sleep. I was, like, tossing and turning and shit, but... Yeah, I, I maybe got, like, maybe less than two hours of sleep, but... I'm gonna still do this review, brother. This TNA Impact review is the Monsters Ball episode in the UK. Um, Dixie Carter was backstage with EC3, and he said... I'm going to eliminate Matt Hardy and force him out of TNA, which is probably what's going to happen. He's probably going to win the title back, and then Matt Hardy will leave TNA. So that's what's probably going to happen. Then EC3 came out and said, Matt Hardy, I have beaten legend after legend, and I'm coming for you, Matt. And then, like, he calls out Tyrus saying, I bet you're breastfeeding Maxwell right now. And Tyrus comes out like, what'd you say to me? And then he says, you're salami tits. Okay, and then they fight or whatever. And then Matt Hardy says, why don't you guys team up? Well, why don't we team up against you and somebody that actually likes you in the back? That wants to team with your ass. I didn't see Rebby. That's that's Taker Kid 17 approved. Uh, there was uh, beer money. Not beer money. Eric Young was in the ring with Bram. The Maniacal Alliance. And he's like, I'm King of the Mountain Champion. And James Storm came out with Rob Bobby Roode and said... Defend it against me, city boy. So they got a match, and then they both got double counted out because these teams wouldn't stop brawling. Um, These two tag teams brawled like backstage throughout the entire night. And then Bobby Root said there's going to be a tag match at lockdown with us. Kicking your ass. And then James Holmes said, sorry about your damn luck, boy. Um, Drew Galloway told EC3 that he doesn't like him, but... He respects him and he wants to team up with him. Um, EC3 said, I'm going to do it alone. I got allergies like a motherfucker, guys. And then Mike, Mike Bennett, the miracle, he hasn't done shit since he's been in TNA. <laughs> with a stupid ass hair. He's like, I'll fight anybody from the UK. Mark Andrews. And then Andrews comes out and he tries to bully Andrews. They had a man match. And then Mike Bennett, the miracle, beats Andrews. And then he beats him up some more. And then Drew Galloway comes out and, like, saves Mandrews. Uh, the DK was backstage behind, like, a, a cage or something. And then Rosemary was like, we are going to have a dark ball tonight, DK, DK, DK. And then Abyss is like, you're the most beautiful woman in the ball. And then this British guy that looks like a gothic, I don't know what he was supposed to be. He's like, hey, Rosemary. Remember me, lass? And then Crazy Steve's like, get out of here. He's like, this has nothing to do with you or you. It's just between me and Rosemary. This guy seems like something off of American Horror Story, but whatever. Um, That's freaky is what it is. And then Drew Galloway was backstage with the poor little fella, man. He was like, I'm tired of the miracle Mike Bennett coming here trying to push people around. And then Mike Bennett comes out and attacks him. And then he attacks Mandrews, and then Galloway's beating him up. And Maria distracts Galloway. So the Miracle beats the shit out of uh, Drew Galloway and then kicks his head into uh, a fucking garage door. I saw that spot coming because it happens every fucking time. I was like, move Galloway, and he didn't move. So he got his head caved in. And then Matt Hardy and, and Tyrus are backstage trying to bully Rockstar Spud. Um, the Monsters Ball happened. This was the match of the night for sure. We are the nobodies. The Decay comes out, and they look so cool. Um... They have the Maryland Manson music. I heard Billy Corgan came up with the idea. So props to him. And I knew he got the licensing for the music. Because he's friends with Courtney Love and Hole and Marilyn Manson and all of them. It's like Abyss is in the back like this. The Monsters Ball is his specialty match. And Crazy Steve is just being crazy like. And then Rosemary's like this all zombie looking. She has the belts. She's got a belt in each hand and she's like dragging it. It's cool. I really wanted the Decay to win. This match was really good. Uh, the Wolves had shirts on for most of the match. Um, there was a spot where Abyss like, tried to slam one of the Wolves into a bar bar bed. And then the other Wolf did a suicide dive and like put Abyss like punctures the bar wire board. He's like, he goes through it. And then Crazy Steve put Eddie Edwards' head in between the steel chair. Rosemary's like dumping tacks on his head. And then Steve is about to like concerto him, but he moves out of the way. Davy Richards did this thing where he, like, sucked all the poison out of the mouth of Rosemary. I thought that was kind of dumb, but whatever. 
and then he spits the poison mist in her face like she does to him. And then they kick, they take a chair and they kick fucking uh, Crazy Steve in the head. They do like Red Dragon finisher. And after they super kick his face, they drive him, they brain buster him into the chair. And they pin him and they win the belts back. This feud was okay. It was It's over now, but yeah, it was a nice ride. I would have loved the Decay to win, but maybe the Wolves get a rematch at lockdown and then I would have liked them to win, but it was still a good match. EC3 is backstage with Spud. He's like, Spud, let me talk to you. And Spud's like, no, no, Mr. Kata, I'm going to talk first. And then he's like, we got a good history and a bad history. And then uh, EC3 is like, you you care too much for others or something. He's like, you, you're you always looking out for others, but today I'm going to go by myself. So EC3 wants to fight by himself. Uh, Gail Kim, Madison Rain versus a dollhouse. Rebel looked fine as hell, like always. And uh, the dollhouse did really good. Jade is awesome. But the good girls win. The dollhouse, you can't turn your back on them. They beat the shit out of the good girls. And Velvet Sky predict predictably comes out, and she's like, let's do it, dollhouse, doghouse. First time ever, lethal lockdown with knockouts, which should be interesting. Um, I wish Khan was here, but whatever. And I wish Angelina Love was still here, but, you know, I guess they only want to do three women there because they, they only have two hours, not even. And they got so many matches. Like, this lockdown card is stacked, brother. And then they had these promos all night for this guy debuting Olaf the Great of Frozen. <laughs> Or, uh, what is his name? Oh, oh, Dark. Oh, Dark the Grave. Mahabali Shira is backstage with his new Mexican mustache. Like, I have friends from India to team up with me. And then Ordog says, It's yourself. I am Ordog the Great. And I love my Indian brother, Shira. So Drake is in the ring. Like, let me talk to you. And Goddard is about to team up with him. And then he's like, I'll whip whoever dummy comes out of that curtain. So then Shira comes out, do good, do good, do good, do good, do good, do good, do good. And then Ordog the Great comes out with familiar music. No. And Drake is freaked out. He's like, and then the Pope. Oh, Daddy Josh, I think it's Grotto under the mask. And um, it obviously is Grado. Grado. Because if you spell Ordog backwards, it's Grado. Grado. And Grado gets his mask ripped off by Eli Drake. But Eli Drake gets rolled up by uh, Grado or Ordog the Great. And then the good guys win. And and yeah, it was funny. Jesse Goddard is even laughing because it's fucking hilarious. I laughed at this. I laughed at the entire the character like the whole time he was on the camera. Um yeah, Grado is fat, but you know, he's he's charismatic. Or dog or dog the great is awesome and Sheer is awesome. You know something? Uh Grado is a fat guy, but he's way more charismatic. I'll say this, I don't give a shit. He's, he's way more charismatic and talented in the ring, in my opinion, than Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens comes out to crickets, okay? And I don't care if the impact zone is smaller, because when Grido comes out, everybody in the building goes like this, okay? Uh, Kevin Owens is out of shape. All he does is the pop-up powerbomb. He doesn't even do any good moves. He's completely out of shape. My girlfriend calls him a fat tub of lard. And he comes out to crickets, literally, like, his arena music is like it was released, like, he just comes out, like the Royal Rumble, he's coming out like this, limping, doing a very poor job selling. And nobody reacted, nobody. Okay, Grado was over and way more charismatic in my opinion. Bele, Bele, Bele. Grado for champion, bro. Grado for president, brother. Screw anybody that thinks otherwise. So yeah, oh shit, I didn't even realize I was already here. All right, the main event, handicap match. I didn't think they were going to do it. It's Tyrus and Matt Hardy versus EC3, a face EC3. I still, it's hard for me to get behind them now, but whatever. Maybe I will later. And they're beating him up for a little bit. And then he's, like, fighting back. And then when they're beating him up some more, Rockstar Spud comes out. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. And he teams up with Ethan Carter. Uh, he gets in a brawl with Tyrus. And EC3 nails a 1% on Matt Hardy and pins the world champion. They're going to get it lock on at lockdown. Lockdown is a stacked card. Um, I can't wait. I'm going to watch it. I'm excited. Uh, we got Grado and Drake. We got Knockouts and Lethal Lockdown first time ever. Hardy and EC3 for the World Championship. Beer Money and the Maniacal Alliance. It's going to be off the chain, brother. Uh, I think Trevor Lee is going to defend the championship X Division against Tigre Uno. But yeah, they're settling all the fuses of this show. I attended Lockdown two years ago, so this should be good. 
Thanks for watching and have a good week, everybody. Bye-bye.